Hi. Um, let's see if I can frame the question in a clean way. Um, I was with a friend who had death with dignity, and I'm curious about uh, the Buddhist point of view and your point of view around the enhancement of karma through the taking of her own life in that way, vis-a-vis this conversation of suicide. The first precept of card-carrying Buddhists is not to kill, right? Anything, right? Ants, spiders, yourself, no killing, right? So of course that brings up issues around euthanasia and abortion and suicide and all these things, but we're very much about your practice is your own, your consciousness is your own. You know, if people want our support, we are all in. But if they don't want our support, it does no good to force it. So hold that space of my own choices as an individual, given what I understand and believe about karma are one. And for example, I would never facilitate someone's choice, but if they had other people facilitate it, I'm never going to abandon them, you know, and I'm not going to judge them because who doesn't want to end suffering? All of us want to end suffering. It's just, they don't have as many tools as people that have a spiritual path. So it's not for me to judge. I'm never going to abandon them, but I'm also not going to help them do it. Yeah. So that's my premise with all of these is I will never abandon a sentient being in their suffering in any part of their process, even the choices I disagree with, right? I'm never going to abandon them, but I'm also not going to help them facilitate choices that I know are negative karma. Yeah. And if you have strong karma with them, when they pass, you keep doing prayers and it might not even be the worst rebirth. Actually, they might do some great transformation in the bardo and it all wind up okay. Yeah. So even if it's heavy karma, it still doesn't necessarily mean negative rebirth. Yeah. Especially if they're coming across different conditions that are going to help move them towards the spiritual path. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely um, take care of yourselves today. It's big stuff. Go into your practice, please. Uh, Reading for next week, if you can, is to do propensities chapter in how we live is how we die from Pema children. So that's chapter 10. And um, yeah, we'll dedicate. So all of the energy we put into questions and answers and processes, and especially our own altruistic intention, may all of this go to the development of our fullest potential for the benefit of all sentient beings. Jantu semcho rimpo she ma ke pa nam ke gyu chi ke pa nyam ba me pa yang go ne gong du pa wa shu. Okay, thanks everybody. And All right, see you guys.